मिसिस कोको देर वर आर लॉट ऑफ ट्रीज वेन आई विजिटेड दिस फॉरेस्ट लास्ट मंथ वॉट हैपन्ड स्पाइकी देर वर कट डाउन देर आर मेनी रीजन्स वाई पीपल कट डाउन ट्रीज दे कट दम फॉर वुड or to clear the land for construction of houses and buildings sometimes forests are cleared for mining as well this is known as deforestation deforestation is the destruction of forests to make the land available for other uses that's so sad the scenery used to be much better with the trees yes But deforestation affects more than just the beauty of a place. It also has a negative impact on the environment. The roots of the trees hold the soil together. When we remove the trees, the soil is exposed and often blown away by the wind or washed away by rain. The eroded soil is deposited in rivers and streams. blocking the flow of water the water level in the rivers then rises rapidly causing floods also when this topsoil erodes plant growth becomes impossible and the land becomes barren like a desert this is known as desertification Oh no, Mrs. Coco. We are harming the environment on such a large scale. Not only the environment, Spikey, we are also harming the wildlife. This includes wild plants and animals. When we cut trees down, we are leaving less space for animals to live. Think about all the animals that live in forests. Where would they go if we destroy those forests? We are destroying their homes. Also, animals that eat plants for food, what would they eat? As a result, many animals do not survive and sometimes they even go extinct. On top of that, humans hunt and kill animals too. Yes. Hunting is one of the major factors contributing to the extinction of wildlife species. Sadly, we don't stop there. Apart from deforestation and hunting, we have polluted the air, land, and water. How would you feel if someone pollutes your home? You might end up being sick. This is what humans are doing to animals and their habitats, Spikey. This is so sad Mrs Coco how are humans polluting air land and water can we stop this The major sources of pollution are industrial processes and electricity generation We are burning millions of barrels of fuel every day The burning of fossil fuels produces 21.3 billion tons of carbon dioxide per year it is estimated that natural processes can only absorb about half of that amount so there is an increase of 10.65 billion tons of atmospheric carbon dioxide per year plants can absorb carbon dioxide but we are cutting them down yes the number of trees is decreasing and the amount of carbon dioxide released is increasing one day we will run out of fossil fuels and won't be able to burn them you're right they will run out one day which is why we should try shifting to renewable energy sources such as solar wind and water to preserve fossil fuels as well as our environment also Renewable energy sources are environmentally friendly and don't cause pollution. To summarize, deforestation is the permanent destruction of forests to make land available for other uses. Hunting, deforestation, pollution of air, land and water, 
affect wildlife and their habitats. The burning of fossil fuels is a major cause of pollution. The use of renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and water energy would be better to save our environment, health, wildlife, and their habitats.